welcome to stage a very funny, the hilarious Mike Delamont! How's it going? You doing well? It's nice to be here. I flew in earlier today and had a ton of time. I thought that we were meeting earlier and we were not. Um, so I just kicked around the city. I hadn't been here in a long time. I went to uh, Science World. Yeah, and if you haven't been there, oh, mm, save your fucking money. Um, it's not good, it's not good. I'm bitter, I'm bitter. I'll be honest with you, super bitter. Um, if you haven't been, Science World has a scale uh, now that, uh, um, don't get ahead of me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it allots your weight to an animal in existence. And yeah, yeah. And I've been to other museums, like the Ottawa Museum has a, uh, like the same scale, but it allots your weight to like a whole bunch. Like, oh, like you'd weigh like a thousand butterflies. Like you, you can't feel fat or sad if you weigh a thousand butterflies. You know what I, you know what I found out today? I do not weigh a thousand butterflies. <laughs> I weigh one panda. That's what I found out today. And if you, don't, if you don't know what a panda is, that's a bear. That's a bear. Like if Thanksgiving rolls around and you're like, I think I gained a bit too much weight. I just don't know what the limit is. The limit is bear. It's bear. And I, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. But I, like, we're friends. I can share this. I, I suffer from acute... Um, laziness and uh <laughs> it's not acute it's uh it is downright adorable um but like i can't do it alone and i want a trainer but like i like i want a trainer that started like me like a big fat guy who through good eating and exercise got thin and pretty but that guy doesn't exist never did the only people that become trainers are those little nerds from high school who just graduate and just roid out into like little tanned walnut men with their little shaky cups. That's all it is. <laughs> you wanna go CrossFit? No, I don't wanna go to CrossFit. You got something better to do at 5 a.m. on a Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat French toast and fuck my wife. I'm an adult, I'm an adult. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I paid, I paid $450 to join a, a gym for a year, and I went uh, one time. Uh, and, uh, and I told them that I would tell this story on stage until I earned that money back. And uh, <laughs> on my first day at this gym, they gave me like a trainer, like, like introductory thing. And uh, so I get there, and there's this little walnut. And uh, he's like, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, uh, we're just gonna uh, test your abilities today. And I was like, um, they're low. Like, take, take whatever you think they might be, drop it by half. They're not gonna be good. He's like, we're gonna start off nice and slow. We're gonna start off with the bench press. And I was like, I know what that is. And uh, he's like, we're gonna start with 100 pounds. And I was like, um, no, we're not, Justin. Uh, why, don't, why don't we start with just the bar, like in high school? And he's like, you can do this. And I was like, okay, guy I met four minutes ago. Here's what you need to know about me. I have, uh, I'm essentially like a T-Rex. Like, oh, such strong legs, so strong. And then, ah, oh, just the <laughs> saddest. Like if I fall over tonight, you tell the world my story. I'm not gonna get up. This is where I die. This is where I die. So I, can, I lie on my back and, and I take the bar and, oh, I can use this? Nope. Um, <laughs> it's, it's too heavy, it's too heavy. I didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't try to pick up. So, <laughs> so I get the bar, this one, there you go, and, uh, and I push it up, and the moment it gets up, my whole body's like, nope, <laughs> and my arms shake, and it just slams back on my chest. And I find out in that moment that you don't, you don't, you don't get to pick how you scream. Um, <laughs> in my heart, in my heart, I had a hope that I was just like, mmm. I barely felt that. But I know full well that like it hit my chest and I was like, ah! <laughs> Justin! <laughs> he was quick, Justin, boom, got it off my chest, saved my life so fast. Uh, the only problem is, is that uh, in the saving of my life uh, so quickly and heroically, um, his, um, 
uh, balls. Um, touch my face, touch my face. And I, I, I had never had balls touch my face during the day and, uh, <laughs> you know, quick. <laughs> and, and, and the moment it happened, I was like, I was like, I don't know what to do. And he didn't even know. And I was like, I paid for this. This is prostitution now. And, and so, so we go for the rest of the hour and it's just awkward. And at the end of the hour, he's like, all right, see you next week, same time. And on the inside, I'm like, no! My whole face smells like Axe body spray. I'm never coming back. But, because I'm a Canadian on the outside, I just looked him in the face and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I never went back. Thanks so much for having me, guys. Cheers. <laughs>